Welcome to today's meditation. Take a few moments to get settled down. Just come to a state of relaxation, a state of ease. You're stepping away from restlessness, from hurrying, from chasing, pursuing, desiring, resisting, any form of anxiousness. Right now, you're just allowing yourself to ease away from because nothing is being demanded from you, asked of you, required of you. Step down from your mind into existence. Today, the the pointer that we will be covering, it is based in observation. Learning to see what is arising. And by the very seeing of it, acknowledging that you have the power, the capacity, to not believe in it, to not identify with it, to not pursue it. And that when you let go of these notions, you lose nothing. Therefore, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to protect. Right now, with your eyes closed, you may be noticing many things arising in mind. You must acknowledge this fact that you are the observer of mind. You are not the mind itself. You are not the talking, the thinking. You are only the observing of it. You are able to see the mind from a much more detached place, almost at a distance. Your very seeing of the mind means that you are not the mind. You cannot be what you see. Just like the eyes seeing a billion other objects, but none of those objects are the eyes that see. Any object that the eyes see is not the eyes. Just like that, anything you are aware of, whether it's a thought, a sensation, a feeling, anything you are aware of, you are not. 
you are seeing all these objects, the sense perceptions, the sensations of the body, the thoughts, all of these objects. Acknowledge how you are the witness of them, the seeing of them, the awareness of them. You do not need to keep stepping down into the realm of thinking by constantly pursuing thoughts, by constantly identifying with and believing in thoughts. You have the capacity to rest as the awareness which you are. Right now, for a moment, practice your ability to just let thought go the moment you acknowledge you are thinking. It's almost as if the moment you acknowledge that you are thinking, which, by the way, is a wordless, thoughtless acknowledgement, you just can let it go. It's almost as if you care more about the knowing that you are instead of caring about the idea being proposed by this thought. Although it appears that you are thinking, you are not thinking. You are merely aware of the thinking arising and subsiding. Surely, the thinking is very intimate, and it claims beingness. It claims identity. But once you really start to practice this, once you allow yourself to sit in the silence that is being proposed here, the silence of your witnessing, the silence of your knowing, it becomes very, very clear that you are not the thinking. That you do not need to pursue and constantly identify with thoughts. Through your own discernment, See the difference between thinking and knowing. Between the psychological chatter that comes and goes, that arises and subsides. And the awareness which sees this psychological chatter arise and subside. You have to contemplate what is more you, what is more intimate, what feels more like home, like myself.
both certainly appear to be what I am. But what is closer? What is more essential? What is more true? The secret ingredient to understanding this and realizing this and bringing this into your experience is your own curiosity. You not being able to hold this curiosity in your own experience is the main obstacle. Perhaps you are too interested in the ideas of the mind. You are too interested in your doubts, your fears, your resistances. You care too much about what the mind is saying. And you are not curious enough about yourself. Perhaps you have no sense of urgency to discover the truth of who you are. So if you are seeking a secret ingredient, an accelerator to this understanding, that is the secret ingredient, a sense of urgency, a supreme interest, a burning curiosity. a willingness to relinquish the pursuit of mental ideas, of psychological chatter, of endless descriptions, of endless judgments, a willingness to distance yourself from all those mental notions. A willingness to step into the unknown, into awareness, knowing, being. Whatever is arising in the mind, observe from a distance and let go of what needs to be let go of. Don't need to maintain or continue to pursue that which is not needed. Thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future, thoughts about the practice, just let it go. For only this letting go of what you are not will bring you to what you are 
or better yet, help you acknowledge what you already are. For expanded awareness of self, you must let go of the limitation, the contraction. Constant psychological chatter is a contracted awareness, a limited awareness. The contraction needs to be shed away. All the interest that you are used to just giving your thoughts, your circumstances, your personal life, if you were to even give a fraction of that level of interest, devotion, loyalty to this practice, that alone would be sufficient. You see in moments of silence, your compulsiveness, your unconscious identification with thinking makes itself really obvious. Don't suffer this. Let it reveal itself to you how dysfunctional this constant contraction really is and how much suffering it creates in your experience. Observe that that is the case currently and that is okay. Nothing needs to be done about it other than the very practice that we are speaking of. You need to see clearly that anything you observe is not you. And therefore, you have no need to identify with or believe in it or pursue it. And two, you need to understand clearly that in order to become free from this constant compulsiveness, this dysfunction, this suffering, you have to become more curious and interested in yourself, that which is aware. You cannot continue to want these realizations, these discoveries, this freedom, while clinging on to your ideas, your thinking, your judgments. By becoming empty, you will prosper. 
by remaining full, nothing can be done. Even thinking is a step away from you, is at a distance. Whereas the awareness is nowhere to be seen, yet it is just here, because it is closer than close, zero distance, zero separation. It is from where you see. Your only job is to know, to be. And let go of interest in, in this moment, of that which is not you. This, my friend, is meditation. So you can open your eyes whenever you're ready. Sit with these words that were offered today. Contemplate these words very deeply. See what they're pointing to. If this practice is something you need help with, I'm going to attach some free resources down below that will help you. Along with that, if you are seeking mentorship in this, if you are seeking a community of like-minded individuals where you can get help with the practice and the consistency and the simplicity of this teaching, then learn more about School of Awakening, which is my day-by-day -day meditation program that takes you deeper and deeper into this teaching experientially, that turns your intellectual understanding into experience. That program will be very, very beneficial to you. I'll also link that down below. That's all for today's video. I really hope it helped you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Friday.